Hello and welcome back to another video. I am your host Rosalinda. Thank you so much for being here and as the title suggests this, we are answering some of your questions today. Oh, no, just kidding, just kidding. You guys did not ask anything crazy. No se pasaron mucho. Um, quick little thing i've been trying to film this video since yesterday and it's been a um, crazy girl so there's gonna be noise in the back i'm sorry it is what it is <laughs> i'll put um some cute little musiquita let me see my hair i'm gonna look pretty for you guys um uh, i'm gonna put some little musiquita in the back that's what i'm hoping to put So let's just get to it porque I talk so much and I don't want to make this like an hour long video. So let's get to your most asked questions. I have two that like almost everybody asks. The first one, I will, okay, quick little thing. I tried to put all of them in like a certain pattern so they can kind of flow together. So we're just going to get started. How long have you been married? Oh yeah, how long have you been married and how old were you when you got married? So I have been married for 12 years. We just had our anniversary this January 14. And I was 18 when I got married and Raul was 21. Where did you meet your husband? I met him at In-N-Out. I got hired at In-N-Out in July of 08. Raul had already been working there. So we were co-workers. <laughs> Why did you get married so young? Well, plain and simple because we wanted to. We were so in love and then, you know, when you're so in love and young, you kind of just rush into things. We literally only knew each other. We like knew each other, like we met, we dated, we were boyfriend and girlfriend, we were engaged and then we got married in an expand of like a year and two months. And I think, you know, when you're young, that's kind of like things just go so fast. And that's what happened with us, but if we are gonna get a little bit more, I mean, yeah, transparent with you. Um, uh, this has to do with another question that I would answer later, but also um, I think like maybe like after high school, me and I was talking to Raul and I was just very sad because I was like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to go to college. Um, I One of my dreams has always been to go to college and graduate because I'm an immigrant, you know, I migrated here or I came, my parents brought me here and kind of like when you're an immigrant that kind of like going to college thing, it's like very important. What was oh, very important to me. So we were just talking and then um, he says, oh, so like, how do you get your papers like fast? And I was like, oh, well, the fastest way to get your papers here is to marry somebody that was born here. And then he's like, oh, well, I'll marry you. And I was like, I said, you would marry me? And with no hesitation, this man said, yes. And I was like, I was stunned. He was 21. He was 21. And I was like, you're crazy. We don't even know each other. So we just talked a little bit more. And then that's kind of how it was. Like, did we get married? Like, of course, we got married out of love. We've been together for 12 years. We have gone through all trials and tribulations over our 12 years of marriage. And we have made it so far. And the fact that we got married so, so young and that we made it past like those super hard crucial years and like both of us being so young and like in your 20s you know you you want to have fun and stuff like that i feel like it just goes to show that like our love is super strong but yes it did start with like rushing into it because i wanted to get my papers simple as that if you guys want me to talk about that more i will it's a whole topic i love talking about it i see no shame in it and i don't think people should be ashamed of saying that because you know like look love is super important i love my husband we have such a beautiful relationship but when you go into a relationship with somebody you have to think of what they also are providing for you and what you are providing for them so love is of course you're not going to be in a relationship where there's no love but like you just don't close your eyes and like love like 
literally love is not blind right <laughs> yes uh, the person who you love right like some people stay in bad relations for a long time but to me it was important that i dated somebody that was born here just because i was not born here and eventually when i was going to get to the point where i was going to marry somebody i wanted to be somebody that could help me out in that situation because at the time and graduating from high school there was no program yet daca wasn't a thing and even with daca you don't have your papers you could work but you don't have your papers so to me that was important and i know that it's taboo people get judged for that i don't i really do not care what other people think about that i feel like that we've been married for so long proves that and also the fact that if you know you have something to say about the fact that like i i married i was looking for somebody that was born here i don't know it's a whole topic girl i don't think it's a big deal but there must be there, there's people out there that do um so there long story long <laughs> because i didn't shorten it up but i could go on forever about that but yes we got married very young because i wanted to eat my papers and also because we wanted to and we were young you can make those decisions when you're young <laughs> okay and the number one most asked question are you planning on having kids <laughs> girl yes um we are planning on having kids i am so grateful that ro has kind of just let me take on the reins on that and i mean the fact that we're so connected in that that we think the same we want a lot of things to be into place before we have children and for me i want to be happy i want to have my own home and i want to be financially stable i need to have those three things before i have children why because i didn't have those things growing up and i wouldn't want to bring another generation my children into the same the same situations that I was brought in. Like, I know my mom worked really hard. I know that it was a struggle. There was nothing ever missing from us. We had shoes, we had a roof over our head, we had clothes, we had everything that we needed, but it was still like, I didn't like living in other people's houses. I didn't like living in rooms. And it would be so hard for me to have a child, this would answer another question later on, in a room. I want my child to be at peace, peaceful, and feel at home in their own little place because I've never had that. And to me, that is so, so important. And obviously, it has not happened for us this whole time. So I am not, I have those priorities set straight um, before I have children. And I've also given myself a time frame, which is, or a time, an age. I would like to have my first child at 35 and Raul is all for it. I am so lucky that he is. He is in no rush either. He feels the same way about being financially stable and having our own home. So I am planning on having children, just not yet, but we do have a plan. Do you rent or own? We rent. Um, do you live on, do you live in a studio? Cause I think somebody have picked up on that. Do you live in a studio? If so, a tour girl. <laughs> Um, we live at my mother-in-law's house and we rent a room. We have been here for like eight years, a little bit more, I think. Me da vergüenza, honestly, girls. Like, to me, it's a little embarrassing to still live here after so many years and after being for after being married for so long. You know, el casado, casa quiere. So. <sighs> I mean, it's a very long story why we're here. It's just the short story is that we just never got jobs that gave us more money. Like we never had extra excess amount of money to even save out, save up, save, save for a house or even to rent. And we never really tried renting as well. And for a long time at the beginning, I was never home. I, I'm kind of never really here either, but I was always, doing things like I was going to school I was working so it didn't really bother me but once I stopped I started spending more time here it started bothering me a lot so yes I love it when she thought to say that but you know it is what it is obviously this is not gonna be forever we're gonna make a change and if you are in the same boat I know that you feel me just living with your in-laws is not the best there's no there's nothing bad there's no bad blood or anything like that it's just that it's 
they should you know when you're married you shouldn't live at your in-laws for so long like it might be like a one-year thing and then you know you have plans we just have you know just life has really happened for us but now we have a plan and we do plan on moving out this year no it is gonna happen girl. <laughs> okay um in a tour um yes if you want a tour i'll give you a tour um my our room is super big it's like really big um i guess it would be considered a master but it's not even the master but over these past two years i really made it like our own little home and it's very organized and beautiful and nice and i love being here to me it's like a safe space now so if you would love a tour to see how i organize kind of like having a house in one room let me know okay <laughs> i feel like when i'm answering these questions i'm like very professional like this is professional rosalinda like my takes me back to my customer services <laughs> okay what do you do for a living? <laughs> this is funny. Um, YouTube. <laughs> I do YouTube and um, social media. Now I'm really going for full time on that. And uh, that's, excuse me, that's basically what I want from now on. Um, a little background or no, yeah. I am, I think there was another question where it says, are you actively looking? And I am actively looking for jobs and I have applied for jobs. I've been applying for jobs since the beginning of this year. So since January, I had two interviews, but so far I did not get hired in any of those two jobs. Um, but what I'm doing is that I'm going to interviews or I'm looking for jobs that have to do with like social media, acting um radio anything that in that aspect that i want to do that's where i'm going for so i'm straying away from like jobs that are not gonna do much for me even though your girl needs money <laughs> um but right now i want to focus on youtube growing the channel being better being more consistent with videos so eventually i can get a good camera and you guys can see me you know in 4k or hd whatever those cameras are but um yeah for now youtube and social media is my full-time job did you go to college and if so what major i did end up going to college imagine um i went to cal poly pomon uh well I, um, I went to pcc committed to college for two years then i transferred to cal poly pomona and i love cal poly pomona go broncos i really love that school i love my time in college i thought it was so much fun i didn't really do like college life but I love learning. I love the fact that I got my bachelor's in um, communications with an emphasis in public relations. That, that's, that was my major. It's actually hanging right there. Look. If you can see it. <laughs> I'm very proud of that paper, of that piece of paper. I am very, very proud, even though I don't use it. I am super proud that I at least got the opportunity and was able to go to college. De que parte de México eres? Yo soy de Mazatlán, Sinaloa. I was born there. We lived there a couple years. I went to school there in second grade, um, but I didn't spend too much time there. And I'm not from the city. I'm actually from a rancho called Tecomate. So I'm like from Rancho Girl. Like when we used to, when I when we went back, that I had to do second grade there. That rancho had no running water and no toilets no electricity nothing like that so yo soy de rancho rancho but i didn't really live you know too many years of my life there pero i was born in mazatlan sinaloa where did you grow up so i technically grew up in the bay area in san jose up north um because my when my mom and my dad were together at the time my dad's side of the family ended up in san jose and that's where my mom went so i got there at eight so from eight to 14 i went to elementary and middle school in san jose so i grew up there it was fun i like san jose um but i love la more but that's where i grew up um any major regrets in life mm. I mean, not super major regrets, and I think kind of regrets change with age as well. But one thing that I kind of often think about is that I should have left my job sooner. So like 
I got hired in and out when I was very young and I stayed there for nine years, girl, nine years. And I was not even a manager. Um, I kind of made my through to the, made my way through the stores and then I did end up in corporate, but only in customer service, so answering complaints. I did want to move up to like marketing or something like that, but it also me so, and then I was just not for me. It was an awful time by the end. So I feel like I really overstayed my time there and I wish I would have left way, way, way sooner. And then from then, then on, I've had a couple jobs which I just go, like then I got hired at Starbucks and then I was over Starbucks in eight months, I left. Then I was a yoga studio uh, manager and I was there until I couldn't anymore. So now I, if I get jobs, I leave them as soon as like I feel like it that I need to leave them because I wasted too much time like in a certain job and I feel like I could have done more that's what I think but I don't know maybe looking back if I would have left maybe I wouldn't have done anything either I don't know that's life girl but I try not to have too many regrets porque pues para qué then you just like spend all your time thinking about them you can't change them anymore biggest insecurities my insecurities change with time as well so depending on what time i am like like que temporada ando that's my insecurities right now my teeth just because i'm changing them right i'm whitening them and then i have my two front teeth my crowns i got a little bit i talked about that a little bit in my last i don't know maybe my last two videos um, about that, I'm whining my teeth, but my two front teeth are crowns because I had two different accidents where I fell forward and I chipped half of the tooth. So these two are crowns. So obviously, oh no, I keep saying obviously, yo no sabía tampoco. You cannot whiten the rest of your teeth and then kind of like go in and be like, hey, whiten my crowns too. You can, you have to get brand new crowns. So before I can get my brand new crowns, I have to whiten my teeth first so they can match the the whiteness so i'm going through that and i don't really i'm very insecure about that because you can tell how yellow the crowns are and then my teeth are not like as white as i want them to be i feel like i have a ring light right now but um they're getting there but si me da vergüenza when i talk and you can see them that's my biggest insecurity right now and i did gain like 20 pounds in like during the quarantine kind of so that's another insecurity of mine but we're working on both of them i feel like my insecurities change throughout throughout my years through whatever age i am on they change but i always try to work on them but like anybody i have insecurities and i think i'm always gonna have them but we work we work to you know better ourselves and yeah you know i'm working on both so i think it makes me better makes me happier if another one arises later on it will it'll be what it it is what it is right but the thing is that with insecurities i don't like i don't get i don't like to get too hung up on them because everybody has them and even though we try really hard like they're kind of always uh, going to be there even though we don't want to because we're only human so another thing that i don't like to think about too much <laughs> How do you feel about starting YouTube? Mm, thank you, girl, for answering that question. I honestly am so excited and I love it. I didn't know I was gonna love it this much, honestly. I took so long to start YouTube just because I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to edit. I'm gonna have to edit myself. Like, it's gonna be so hard. I thought editing was gonna be the hardest because I can be in front of a camera. I can talk. I think I'm, I'm entertaining. I can do something, right? But I thought that back part of it was hard don't get me wrong it's not easy because i still don't know how to put like little you know music or this or that like to spice it up i can't spice up my videos yet but i can edit a video and honestly like looking back i'm like at the beginning i was like oh i don't want to look at myself but now i'm like i even laugh at myself and i'm like oh my gosh i'm hilarious so i love it i'm very excited and i'm so excited that i have all of you and that you guys are willing to join me thank you so much okay how do you feel about plastic surgery i have no feelings towards really um if it is for you it is um i think it's awesome though you get you know it's just like putting on makeup 
but it's a little bit more invasive we do what makes us feel good and if it makes somebody feel super good then go ahead and do it girl i honestly i'm sure i'm gonna get some botox and fillers at some point in my life so i'm cool with it <laughs> what happened to dory's eyes dory was born with glaucoma glaucoma is something that you develop as you get older and it happens in older dogs however she had the gene and she was born with this so her eye um it got really bad like it was so much pressure that her eye was like this big and then after a while her cornea dislodged so she was already blind it was best to take it out so she wouldn't bump into things but Dory's over there thriving killing birds and everything I don't know how that girl does it uh, where did you and Stacy meet? Me and Stacy met in high school. Uh, we both went to the same high school. We kind of met our junior year. We were inseparable that summer and then we spent all senior year together and we've been friends ever since. I love my Stacy Kim. Uh, what are your go-to perfumes? Oh, that's such a good question and I actually have them right here. <laughs> Let me get them. So a quick or like a fun little what is it a fun tip or what's it something about me or oh my gosh um something about me is that raul buys all my perfumes he bought me this one the shador by dior oh if you had to get one get this one girl just get the shador it is smell it smells so good it's classic it's beautiful it stays on you forever and this one, Ro also got it for me. It's the coach with the little flower. I don't know the name of it, but these two are my go-to and they smell delicious. But this one smells my favorite. I saved the fun ones for last. <laughs> What's your favorite Disney character? Lightning McQueen. I don't know what it is about cars. I love cars. Cars is my ultimate favorite uh, movie and then Lightning McQueen is my favorite character and my favorite ride is Space Mountain but it's very close to um, Radiator Springs, the Cars ride. What's your favorite place to visit? Disneyland. <laughs> I'm actually going today after this. Um, what's your favorite color? Purple is my favorite color, like a lilac. Uh, have you ever broken any bones? No, girl, and I do not plan to because that seems very painful. Oh, me quiero Dios. I cannot do well with pain. Um, and what is your zodiac sign? I am a cancer. I don't know what that means exactly. I was born June 21st at 11 a.m., so that makes me a cancer. For a long time, I thought I was a Gemini, but we figured out that I'm a cancer. Um, no sé mucho de eso, so, but I'm a cancer. And then um, also this last one, it was kind of like a question, but also like a compliment, which thank you so much to everybody. Um, it says, what do you put in your hair it's so shiny? Oh my gosh. It was so funny because when I posted that, um, well, when I was saying like, oh, ask me questions, that's when I got questions about my hair. Like, oh, it's so shiny. What do you do to your hair? And legit in that, in that story series, I said, one thing about me is that I do not care for my hair. I do not like, it's a thing that I don't do much porque it's just like, it's, it's so much and I don't know what to do with it. So it was funny that you guys complimented on that. But um, I think it's a little bit of a lot of things. I only dyed it like two times in my life. I don't put too much heat on it. Um, and then that's really basically it. My mom has good hair. I don't know if that also translates to me. So I think it's a combination of that. However, whenever I put this product in, I do feel like it makes a big difference in my hair. It's like silky smooth and I can run my fingers through it. And I think that day that, um, that I posted, I had washed it and put that product in. So I think that's why you guys noticed that. So let me show you. So it's this um, hair mask. It's called Raw Sugar healing power hair mask it's the one with avocado banana coconut milk and agave and you wash your hair like normal with your shampoo and your conditioner and then you put this and then you you know do the rest of your body and stuff and then wash it at the end and seriously as i'm washing it you could just feel it it leaves your hair so silky smooth so i think what you guys were noticing was this so try it i really do recommend this one and i think this one is gonna make a difference so I just want to thank you all so much for, has, 
for participating in this question and answer q a my very first one thank you so much for everything if you guys want to know a little bit more about something in particular that i didn't go in debt let me know i can i always i'm always happy to do a video about anything else so let me know again thank you so much for participating and i love you all see you guys in the next video bye